Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Talking about monopolist competition, I'm going to show you how to draw a monopolistically competitive firm in long run equilibrium. I'm going to show you the concept, and then I'm going to compare it in the bonus round to perfect competition. Good, that concept I'm going to show you in 60 seconds. Good, long run equilibrium. Well, the demand curve is downward sloping. Go ahead and draw that on your piece of paper. And because they have to lower the price of the previous units as well, and they can't price discriminate, the marginal revenue is below the demand. It looks like that. Marginal cost, as you know, goes down and up. It always looks the same. It looks just like this. Good. And then, hold on. You know, in the long run, this firm will have no economic profit. So we have to stop here. Before you draw an ATC, what I want you is to identify where MR equals MC, quantity down here, and of course, they charge a price up to demand curve. There's the price. The question is, where does ATC go? Well, ATC needs to go right through this point. Now, what I do is I draw a star. I call that the sweet spot. It has to go through the sweet spot. Well, probably, or ATC is going to fall. It's going to go tangent to that point. It's going to go back up. ATC looks just like that. That's it. That's the concept. Until next time. Okay, the bonus round. What I want you to do is this. I want you to identify the socially optimal quantity. Socially optimal quantity is right here where supply equals demand right there. This is how much they're underproducing because that's quantity socially optimal. This firm's underproducing because it wants to maximize profit, not produce the amount society actually wants them to produce. That is, again, the idea of socially optimal is the same thing as allocatively efficient. Now notice, this is not the same as this. This right here is the quantity that is minimum ATC. That's the quantity that is productively efficient. They're producing the lowest possible cost. And that concept this distance between that distance is something called excess capacity. Excess capacity it means the idea that um, they could be producing the lowest cost, but they're not. They're holding back production. Excess capacity, that's the concept. Perfect competition would produce here. So you can see there's dead weight loss with a monopolistically competitive firm. There's your dead weight loss. They could be producing more, but they're not. Great. Until next time. Another bonus round. Really? Are you serious? That's amazing. And I want you to take a look up here. This graph is easy to draw, but also easy to forget. I want you to take a look. Here's what the classic mistake is. If you understand the classic mistake, you'll never do it. Good. A lot of students will draw demand. They'll draw marginal, and they'll draw marginal cost like this. They'll be like, okay, I got it, Mr. Clifford. It looks just like this. Marginal cost goes down, tangent, and up. Done. Wrong. This is horribly, horribly, disgustingly wrong. And the reason why is because the output, which is MR equals MC, there's the quantity. If you go straight up, you look, wait a second, right? There's the price. The price and the ATC are not equaling each other, right? This firm is not in long run equilibrium. Now, to the untrained eye, this graph, that graph, it's the same thing, but this one is wrong. And the reason why is the ATC is here. There's a loss being made. Right there is the amount of a loss. That box is a loss, so it can't be the long run. That's the class mistake. Don't draw ATC right here tangent to marginal cost. It's got to be tangent to what I said before, which is the sweet spot. That's the concept. Till next time, no more bonus rounds.